Hi and welcome. It is time for looking at the November night sky astronomy. And this month's stars will be Venus, Mercury, Uranus, Jupiter, Saturn, and you might even get a glimpse of Mars. If you're looking up on the 6th, you'll see an interesting setup of Mercury. And if you look really hard on the horizon, you will might see Mars. Um, now, this is just before the sun comes up on the 6th of November. Um, once again, you got to be careful if you're going to try to view Mars at all, because it is really in direct sunlight. Um, and I, if you're using a telescope, I would be extremely careful. Uh, Mercury, on the other hand, should be bright enough that you'll be able to see it quite nicely um, in the very early morning sky. Like I said, this is just a few minutes before the sun comes up. Now, on the 5th of November later in the night <laughs> you'll be able to see the torrid meteor showers you see the northern torrids and the southern torrids will be visible at that time the torrids are a long-running minor meteor shower they produce about five to ten meteors per hour um, it consists of the two separate streams so the northern and the southern ones um, the first is produced by dust grains left behind by an asteroid in 2004. The second stream is produced by debris left by the comet 2P Enki. The shower runs annually, usually from September 7th all the way to December 10th. But the peak is November, uh, early November. And so you'll have a nice view. Best viewing will be just after midnight from a dark location. So if you're not in the city, take a look up and you'll see some meteors. The other thing that's happening on this same exact day, that is November 5th, Uranus is at opposition. Okay, so the blue-green planet will be at its closest approach to Earth and its face will be fully illuminated by the sun. It will be brighter than in, and at any other time of the year, so this is the time to view Uranus, if you're a big fan of it. Um, this is the time to view it. Now, you will need a telescope, all right, to see this, and a pretty strong one, too. Um, but it will appear to you as a blue-green dot, okay? Um, so that's what you're looking for, and this is looking, if you're looking east-southeast, so you'll have the torrid meteor shower to the left of Uranus. Um, so you'll have great viewing on that day. That is the 5th of November. Now moving along, around the 19th of November, we have the Leonids. Yes, another meteor shower. Uh, the Leonids is uh, an average shower, and they produce about 15 meteors per hour. Um, this shower is unique in that it has a cyclonic peak about every 33 years where hundreds of meteors per hour can be seen. The last time that happened was back in 2001. So the Leonids is produced by dust grains left behind by the comet Temple Tuttle, which was discovered in 1865. The shower runs annually from November 6th through the 30th, so it is a November meteor shower. It peaks this year on the 17th and on the morning of the 18th. So the 17th through the 18th is really the, the absolute super peak of it. Um, of course, the other problem we have during these days is the, the moon... <laughs> on this day will be full but there is a big but here and that is because we're having a lunar eclipse on the 19th as well 
So this makes for a very interesting night of viewing the sky. Uh, the partial lunar eclipse uh, occurs when the moon passes through the Earth's partial shadow. Um, and so during this time of the eclipse, part of the moon will darken as it moves through the Earth's shadow. The eclipse will be visible throughout most of eastern Russia, Japan, the Pacific Ocean, North America, Mexico, Central America, and Western South America. So it's an interesting night on the 19th where we have the Leonids uh, meteor shower. There is a full moon, and it is also partially eclipsed. A fantastic astronomical event taking place on the 19th of November. To add to the excitement, if you just happen to be looking up in the sky on Thanksgiving, yes, that's the 25th of November this year, you'll see an, a nice lineup of Jupiter, Saturn, and Venus. And as we can see from our picture here, it, you can find Jupiter between Altair and Formulat. Once you find that, just look down toward the right in the southwestern sky, and you'll see Saturn and Venus lined up with it. Fantastic viewing event if you're a big fan of the planets. So this is a really exciting month of November, chock full of astronomical events. Now if we go through the moon phases, we'll see the new moon on the 4th, the first quarter is on the 11th, the 19th of course being the full moon, and the third quarter is on the 27th. The full moon this month is called the beaver moon. Okay? And that is uh, happening at 8.59 UTC. Okay? Um, so the Native Americans uh, called this the beaver moon because this was the time of year to set beaver traps before the swamps and the rivers froze. It also has been known to other peoples as the frosty moon and the dark moon. So, there you have it. November 2021, another exciting month. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe. Tell your friends about it and have them subscribe. Hit the like button until next time. Bye-bye.